It's been 100 years at the center of business. Since 1916, Columbia Business School has been changing the landscape of the business world. It started with the concept of connecting research and theory to the heart of industry practice, and the School of Business at Columbia University was born. Our founders would be in awe of where you've taken their dream. From value investing to behavioral economics, private equity to public policy, global sustainability to life-saving technology. The world has revolved around the innovations and impact Columbia Business School has made in every industry, in every corner of the globe. What started as a class of 60 is now a network of 42,000 plus. We've developed leaders who have influenced the world of business and the world as we know it. People who look beyond the obvious, people who implement change, people who use their talents to make the world better for everyone around the globe. In honor of our centennial, we are going to do what we've always done. We are going to look forward. We're going to redefine every industry yet again. We are going to reinvent learning with the help of our new Manhattanville campus, enabling an even greater exchange of ideas and collaboration across the university community. And we are going to make the next 100 years even better than the last. The magnitude of what we've accomplished in this century is just a springboard. The next 100 years will be much more dynamic than the last 100 years. When we talk about the world is small, the world will be really small then. We have to value what we've learned in the past in order for the future to be successful. Your connected toilet and your connected toothbrush will communicate. The way in which things get paid for is going to change. Currencies will probably become universal social innovations that will be able enable us to address two major challenges we have inequality and climate change. Global warming is going to change permafrost in Siberia into beautiful tillable soil. Kids are going to think that driving a car that requires fuel and gas is such a thing of the past. Jetpacks and hover cars are a lot sooner than a hundred years. Managers are really going to have to be able not only to to manage um, human intelligence and artificial intelligence. The field of regenerative medicine is just going to explode over the next hundred years. I see a future where business is deeply connected with social mission and personal mission. What you're going to see is that the jobs that people actually do are by any traditional standard much more rewarding. One of the biggest questions about the future is what impact technology is going to have on education. Blending technology and live time in an optimal way is where education in the business realm is going. More interdisciplinary work across the campus. And the move to Manhattanville is the opportunity uh, to marry space with uh, creativity. Which I think will just breed more collaboration and bring in even more preeminent business leaders to campus. Today, a hundred years from now, your network is going to be the most powerful thing you bring with you. I think the business school can be instrumental in helping new leaders of the future cope with change and creative destruction. In the next hundred years, I guarantee you Columbia students will be known as the best leaders to lead in a globalized world. The next hundred years will put Columbia Business School at the center of having solved big problems, ending global poverty making the environment safe and sound, and making sure that prosperity comes to all. Those are within our grasp. They're management problems. Happy birthday, Columbia Business School. Happy birthday. Happy centennial. Happy birthday, Columbia Business School. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Columbia Business School. 100 Happy birthday. Happy centennial. Happy birthday, Columbia Business School. Happy centennial, Columbia Business School. The world can't wait to see what you do next.